Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Mish Bling, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this beautiful Hennessy bottle. But before we do that, please subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends and family to subscribe to my channel, please. So this is all the materials that you guys are going to need. I am going to leave the links to these products down below in the description box. So make sure you guys check that out. So let's jump right into this video. Please take your time. Watch this video. You're going to need to really pay attention of how I do this. It is very tedious. Okay, guys. So the first thing you're going to do is remove the sticker on the back of the Hennessy bottle. And then you're going to take some rubbing alcohol and you're going to clean any extra um residue on the bottle now you're going to take your dry paintbrush and you're just going to clean it off um to make sure you didn't leave any residue behind now you're going to paint it you're going to do two coats of paint um so when you do the first one just do it very lightly you don't need a lot of paint at all don't worry about how it does not look neat or professional don't worry about that because you're going to put glitter over it and you will not be able to see um this paint anyway you're just doing this to make the glitter stand out a lot more um anytime you put glitter on a product you always want to make sure that you um, paint the background first it just makes it look 10 times better um, you can skip this step if you want to. I suggest you not to. Um, but yeah, so just go ahead and paint this um, all the way to the top of the um, bottle everywhere. Um, you're going to let it dry for about 30 minutes and then you're going to repeat this all over again. Okay, so now that your bottle is dry, you have your two coats of paint. You're going to apply your Mod Podge glue to the bottle um, so you can apply your glitter. When you apply the glue, make sure you do even strokes. You do not want a lot of glue in one area because it's going to make your glitter chunky. Um, when you apply your glitter, just make sure you put a lot of it so that way you can get every single angle. You're going to do this until you go all the way. dry paintbrush and take off all the excess glitter um, and then you're going to do this process all over again <music>
to get any extra glue or glitter that you got on the side, you want to clean it up. You're going to need your scissors throughout the rest of this process. So just make sure you have skinny, sharp scissors because you're going to need it. Um, so when you apply your rhinestone rope, I'm so sorry for my head being in the way. I do apologize for it. So when you place a rhinestone rope on there, you're going to the first one that you're going to place, you're going to let it sit for about five to ten minutes. Um, so that way it can dry. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put the rhinestone rope um, all around the Hennessy bottle sign. So when you do that, you're going to actually do that about four or five times, depending on how thick you want it to be. You're going to also use your scissors to even it out. So remember that the very edge of any project is the most important. So you want to make sure that you take your time with the first layer of rhinestones to make sure you get the little square as perfect as possible. So just like I'm doing here, you're just going to continue to go around. I think I did it about four to five times. I really don't matter, uh, remember. I don't have that bottle with me right now. I gave it to my mom. Um, but you're just going to continue to do the same process over and over. When you do the rhinestone roach, rope edge to edge, don't cut the rhinestone rope exactly um, where it stops leave a little room because say if you like cut the rhinestone and you like put an extra diamond you actually can like push it back to make it even so you don't want to cut it too short always cut it a little bit too big because you can adjust it with your fingers or with the scissors to make it absolutely perfect the way that you want it i also put the rhinestone rope at the bottom of the bottle as well um and then I, you want to also put the rhinestone rope at the handle of it like where you hold it you want to make sure you do that and let that dry while you're doing the um
didn't like how I added the rhinestones to the top of the bottle, so I did change it. So I added the rhinestone rope at the very tip of the bottle. And then what I'm going to do is on top of that rhinestone rope, I'm going to add some more rhinestone rope on top of that. And then I'm going to go back and add the rhinestones, individual rhinestones in the middle. <laughs> If you notice a gap, just take your scissors and you're just going to push it down um, the rhinestones on top of each other um, to give it that close look. That's going to make it look a lot better. absolutely the perfect present trust me i have sold this thing i have given it as presents and people love them i have one myself i do not drink and i have one and it's been in my house for two years and it still looks amazing thank you guys for tuning in to my video please subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram at bling by mish please dm me if you guys have any questions also, please like this video and please leave any comments that you guys have in the comments below and I'll be so happy to answer them for you. Until next time, see you guys later. Bye!